So this story is wild. This story is crazy. I don't know if you uh, heard about it, but it's been trending worldwide lately. It was a mass shooting in Memphis. I want to say last night, a couple nights ago. Um, we're just gonna get straight into the video with the details. Honestly, like, it's no point of talking about it if we about to hear about it. Let's get into it. My neighbors ran to me and told me it's a killing at AutoZone. And it's a, it's a young guy just riding around social media and filming himself shooting people and stuff. And y'all go, and you know, you, you need to go and tell the people to, to clo go run down this auto zone and tell them to close the stores down because there's a madman around here shooting people. They didn't know, and then I went and told them they locked the doors down and on the other ones. But uh, it's just sad. We were in the middle of setting up the tents and everything and, and setting up the food when they heard the shots and uh, my pastor and some other members with including the, my pastor's father went out went inside and uh, the man was on the floor he was a hispanic man and uh you know they prayed with him uh, he was bleeding from from this area you know pretty bad and then the police came and they, they told us that we had to leave but uh we you know we at first we thought it was a, like he was trying to rob him or something but it, it, then we found out that this guy was just shooting randomly Honestly, yesterday is sad, and me, like, it's nothing in this world worth another person taking somebody's life. Honestly, you're losing two lives taking somebody's life, yours and theirs. There's no point. So my condolences goes out to every everybody that lost somebody or was injured in a situation, and I pray that you get through it. And if you need somebody to talk to, I will always be here for you. I promise you, God always loves you. God would always be with you.